we move into the second quarter of this game. Great job there by Tennessee. Plymouth making a big effort there late in the first quarter, trying to seal it up, maybe steal the lead going into the second, but Tennessee able to end those chances with a clutch three-pointer off the Pitbull's paws. Tennessee will have possession here starting off the second. Random takes the inbound. They're going to keep the Pitbull on the court. Hand off to Barker. The other boxer. The other dog taking it. Kicks it out. Over to Butler, the rookie. Barker going around the arc. Back to Random. Back to Barker. Barker from three. It's good! Beautiful play there. The dog's going back and forth with that rock. Just working it around the arc. Until Barker was wide open. And yeah, it's time getting some nods from Elena it's, here. She, she approves of dogs I playing approve. well. You'd expect they, they may play as a couple of retrievers, but they're not retrievers, but they uh, still they manage to get the ball back. <laughs> Moving back and forth. There you go. It's a definitely the pit bull and the boxer working very well together. Richter running out of time. He's got the ball. Near the shoulder. Has to take the three ball. And he gets it. The Ooh. buzzer beater three off the wolf's paws. That was good. Tennessee 29, Plymouth 24. 11 minutes left in the second. Wallace Butler gets rid of it, hands it to Rasputin. He's in the woods, well outside of his range. Further to random. Then Macias back to the basket. And then back to random near the shoulder. Starts to dribble, back and forth behind the tail. Running out of time, tough shot. He gets Woo! it. Jeff Random getting physical there, pushing back the skunk, showing no fear as he makes that tough shot around the glass. That famous pit bull tenacity is really working for him. Pass aside, Saron. Throwing the ball. Saron, still holding on to it. Trying to get around the defense, but not getting very far. Gets inside, swat it down. Wallace Butler with Ooh. the block. And that's a shot clock violation. Beautiful job by the rookie Penguin. Showing some defense, swatting it with a big fin. When it violates the shot clock, what does that exactly do? Yeah, it's a turnover. Then uh, oh. the, the, the Plymouth wasn't able to get the uh, shot off in 24 seconds, and so okay. automatically goes to Tennessee. They get control. Do penguins have fins or flippers? Uh, that's a great question. I guess it's flippers. I guess it is flippers, isn't it? I, I got a little... Hey, maybe. Yeah. Right. We, we speak it in the moonshine. Fin, fin, fins, fins are on the back, usually. Kind of, See, on a you got me thinking about this so much, I almost didn't notice... The three ball from Jamie Velasquez. <laughs> I missed it too, so. She has feathers. <laughs> she does have feathers. Very nice white feathers. And she has a lovely commentator as well. She was wonderful on mm -hmm. the show. I, I saw some of that right there. Not a good. She had Wolfo back on the floor. He's taking his time, deep woods, just kind of hanging out there. Letting Aragon Fisher wonder what he's going to do. He's going to take that shot from wide. And he misses it, but it's recovered by Osborne. Good rebound there. Yelenchka. Then it goes back to Wolfo. They got a fresh 24 after that failed shot attempt. Swishenberger. Back to Wolfo. Beautiful fake. Gets inside, but the Demons is quick to pick him up. He gets to the center. It's blocked! Barry Carpenter Ooh, fly, flying in and swatting it down with a big web paw. Well Gotta done watch by out the for those webs. Well done by the big beaver. Damn webbies are good for things. Aragon Fisher trying uh, failing to make on that three ball attempt. PT was there to try to put the dunk, but the defense was there to pick up the ball before PT could pick it up. So no basket. And that is answered by a three ball from Kasia Lechka. Tennessee 34, Plymouth 27. PT with it. Takes the shot himself. Oh, P.T. Nah. Just hitting a basket from 16 well, feet. Well done, sir. <laughs> oh, the big otter showing he's got a lot of skills. He's not just dangerous around the hoop. He's dangerous <laughs> 16 feet away from it. He's dangerous around the sushi bar, too, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but again, that goes for most of our team, as Jamie said. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's a, lot of a, a lot of fish is being consumed on that team. I, uh, see, there's plenty of trips to the sushi restaurants, aren't there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing Nashville's got a river through it. 
I think that may have been a consideration. Over to Fisher. Uh, uh, Taproot weren't able to connect, but Fisher finds an alleyway. Yes. The defense, the Plymouth defense just collapses. Look at that lip. And allows the little <laughs> otter to slip his way right down the river through the center of the kennel. And the layup is good. Little layup, little ladder. Plymouth calls a timeout as Tennessee takes a commanding 11-point lead. Tennessee 38, Plymouth 27. Just under eight minutes left in the second. Osborne is being replaced by Nina Lyme coming back out as Darius Cole also comes back to the floor. Plymouth definitely in need of some splash sister help. They're hoping that Nina Lyme can help close up this gap. Splash Sisters refers to, is that just their nickname for Nina and somebody else? Uh, Nina and Acacia Lenchka, yes. Okay. Hmm. To the, the two ladies there who are uh, very good at hitting the three ball. So why do they oh. call it a splash? Oh, um, that's a kind of a basketball term for a, a three ball attempt okay. uh, for, 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 a, for a basket. It's kind of a reference to how the silk sort of like splashes when the ball goes through from a, from a distance. It's okay. mighty pretty. <laughs> Unfortunately there, Taproots were not able to be pretty with that uh, effort there. Not able to connect on the basket attempt, recovered by the Moonshiners. They got a chance to extend their double-digit lead. Fisher now, guarded by line, kicks it out. Velasquez was wide open for a second there, but decided to hold on to it. Finds Monogoyak at the uh, corner. Running out of time though, Monogoyak, Fisher at the shoulder. He's gonna have to take the three ball shot. No good this time, but beautiful job. Barry Carpenter's right there, but that's blocked. He finds it. Doesn't make the basket, but he draws a foul that time. It was on Swishenberger. Swishenberger was able to block the first attempt by Barry Carpenter, but the Big Beaver was able to collect the blocked ball, make a second attempt. Swishenberger again tried to defend, but that time making contact, drew a foul. That puts the Big Beaver at the line for two, gets the first. Barry Carpenter, he has gotten better and better I got to tell you that uh, he has, uh, he had started off in the league very strong, had an unfortunate collapse, which uh, was due to his personal problems. But uh, now, in these uh, recent last couple of years, really has grown again, He's been a really solid player for this Tennessee club. He has, and I think, I think that has a lot to do as well with the, uh, the leadership of, of Angus McPherson and, and his, uh, and the rest of the team that have supported him and supported him beforehand even so so it, it was a good it was a good matchup to have him back definitely. absolutely Casa Yelenchka <laughs> one of the splash sisters hitting the splash there three ball attempt beautiful job weaving it through the defense to hit that three Tennessee calls a timeout as Plymouth puts the game in 10 points at Tennessee 40 Plymouth 30 six minutes and 20 seconds left in the second you're absolutely right, Farallon. When you look at this team, one of the things I like the most about it is the fact that Angus McPherson did such a good job of finding solid talent. Mm. Um, he was, he'll always be remembered for recovering Jamie Velasquez, somebody that I think a lot of teams had already cast off. Uh, the Galveston Sand Dollars didn't think they had any use for anymore, but here Tennessee picks her up, and they find themselves with an amazing player. On top of that, just the building they've done, bringing back Paul Terranora, that was huge. Right, uh, right. Finding Aragon Fisher, that was huge. Uriak Monogoya, that was huge. I mean, just finding all of these terrific chess pieces and building a serious uh, championship contender team. And they have tended to go off off page with their draft picks and trades and things like that as well. Just as far as as far as not you know, kind of defying expectation, you know, that they're going to pick this. No, they didn't. They picked somebody else. And you know, not even out of the top 24 during a draft night, it could just be anybody off page that that the management decides that they that they have a use for yeah no they've done an excellent job of that absolutely moonshiners were not able to connect on their last uh, possession there tap roots not able to connect on theirs so two wasted possessions in a row we're going the other way moonshiners were able to recover with that rebound fisher now back to the basket but the defense is all over him he's got a backup over to Val velasquez Velasquez back out to Fisher. Fisher taking the shot from the elbow. It's good. Aragon Fisher just getting fearless there. Stepping right in front of the defense, taking that shot, even though the defender was right in his muzzle. He ain't afraid of close contact. Really now. 
He is a he is a brave otter, and Elena likes to hear about that apparently. <laughs> I like players that just get right in there. Whoa! No, oh, Nina Lime! Ooh. Shattering some ankles! Speaking of getting right in there. No <laughs> doubt, Nina Lime taking out the defense. And that opened up a lane, and the White Wolf just sailed her way right to the basket. Splash this for nothing. She's taking it to the hoop. Beautiful job by her. And it's answered by Jamie Velasquez. Hitting a shot from 18. That seagull is something else. She has been playing so well. <laughs> it, it, really an incredible player. Cross court. Lime. A little behind the back pass there. Need a lime. Getting a little showy there in the limelight. Back to Wolf Oak. Chewy Burger off the shoulder. Back to Wolf Oak, top of the arc. Starts the dribble. Running out of time. Wolf Oak taking the shot. He gets he it. Did. Not bad from the hybrid there. Cheetah Wolfoat had a lot of defenders in front of him, a lot of big paws, but still, fearless. Putting up the hierarchy floater, able to get it over the defense and make the basket. Makes it a 10 point game. Inside, Carpenter. Barry gets another one. Number 44, the Big Beaver. He's having himself a night, a very good night here. Stores a 12 point lead. Tennessee 46, playing to 34. Just under four minutes left in the second. There's a lot on the line being that it's tied up 2-2 at this point in, in, in the series. And, and, you know, either team really needs the, to get the W on the next one, on, on this one, just to, to get that one step further. And uh, they're, they're definitely showing it on both sides that they're, that they're not uh, holding any quarter at this point. Christopher Swishenberger, he was blocked, and there was too much contact from Barry Carpenter. He picked up a personal foul. That'll put Big Tabby at the line for two. Speaking of Big Tabbies again, Elena, do you yes. keep in touch at all with uh, with uh, the, the former Chief Justice Beauregard Teagues? Um, during my small incident that occurred that I don't think y'all need to hear about, though I'm sure y'all remember, uh, he did give me a good lawyer and after the sentencing i talked to him very briefly not much since then unfortunately but uh i hear he good he's doing all right I i'm sure very good i'm uh -huh. sure i hear otherwise uh, well good for mr Beauregard teaks our pt looked good getting there but we're not able to complete gave it a little bit too much too much mustard you know what no i'm gonna change it today too much moonshine Oh. Very good. He gave it too much moonshine. <laughs> I see what you did there. And uh, and uh, the ball bounced out on the back of the rim. So no bucket there for Tennessee. Plymouth calls a timeout. It's still a 10-point game. Tennessee 46, Plymouth 36. Three and a half minutes left in the second. Aragon Fisher showing a little swagger as he comes off the court. He's got a right to show it. He's been playing solid here in the first uh -huh. half. Wagging that rudder. So speaking of this team, of course, while we got this break, Farallon, um, got to say, uh, you look very nice in the cover for a baller. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Nice. And I got to say, Su I was, Susan I was, I was know, a little bit uh, disappointed. I mean, that was obviously from last year when uh, the Tennessee Moonshiners got to the second round of the playoffs. Very exciting. Oh, Aragon Fisher <laughs> with another block. Blocked that ball from Cheeto Wolfo. <laughs> And that forced a shot clock violation. Beautiful job, the Otters, using those big web paws. Getting a lot of oil on that ball. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was last year was, uh, you would say, got that kind of cover getting to the second round. Already you're in the third round this year. I'm not sure I want to know what the cover is going to look like at the championship <laughs> at this point. <laughs> oh, man, in the championship, Susan's going to be coming up with something nasty. <laughs> Not nasty. Not that's a terrible. I was about to use. say here. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, Elena, Elena would love to see this cover. Hey now, <laughs> <laughs> I, I am interested. As long as it's not one of those things where they have to sell it behind the plastic, you know, in the store. <laughs> that certain section of the ma of the magazine rack. I gotcha. will hold up the lights for her. <laughs> You'd what now? I'd hold up the lights for her for the shooting <laughs> of this. Yeah, I think I'd make. You have to keep good. it steady though, Elena. Oh, I can keep it steady. Plymouth Tappers again not able to connect. 
But their shot attempt there. Tennessee on the other way. Monagoyak having to force the three. Not this time. But Terranor with the rebound. And no bucket. Oh, again, too much moonshine on that hook shot. <laughs> Bounced out of the rim. No good. Tennessee 46. Plymouth 36 still. Less than two minutes left in the second. Wolfo with it. Turn the ball. Finds Yelenska. Yelenska on the shoulder. In and out. No good. Rasputin with the recovery. My gosh, they've got Rasputin and PT both on the floor. It's a lot of big bodies. <laughs> a lot of D right there. Tennessee is going big. A lot of defense. Fisher with the ball. He's in the deep. You got to have a big D in games like this. Well, they're showing it. Running out of time. From the elbow. It's good. Aragon Fisher hits another one. That little otter, what a guy, what a player. <laughs> Coming up some, on one. Some players tend to tend to discredit or not discredit, but but not credit him as, as much as they should because of his size relative to some of the other players, but oh he shows it he shows him up for it. <laughs> well he's gotta keep up with Nina Line there. He got the bucket and one, drawing a foul on Griffiths Sputin. That's his first personal. And the white wolf will go to the line for the potential. Three-point play. Beautiful job there. Needle line getting aggressive. Going down low. Pushing up against the bodies. She gets it. Three-pointer. And he, she brings this game within single digits now. It's Tennessee 48. Plymouth 39. As we come to the last minute of the second quarter. Fisher. Pushing back the defense. Turner almost losing it, but able to scoop it up with his big hand. No good on the basket, but he draws a foul. That's on Pretorius, his second personal. And that will put the big otter at the line for two. Scrunching the big web toes behind the line there. BT's got a chance here to restore the double to lead. And he does and it. And he gets one. it. First to two. That makes it a 10-point game. Again, Tennessee 49. Plymouth 39. Could make it an 11-point game with another one here. 51.5 seconds left in the second quarter. PT. Lining up for the second. It's good. Silk. 11-point game. Tennessee hits 50. Cheeto bringing it up. Cross court, finds Richter. Richter, Cheeto, blocked by Annika Young. <laughs> Annika Young just flying in there and getting a wing in front of it. Aragon Fisher is able to collect the block ball. Kick out, stores in the woods. Back to Young. Back to Fisher, top of the arc. Goes inside a little bit, Rasputin, and kick back out. Young from three, she hits it! <laughs> Annika Young! That was beautiful. Nice girl. That right there was mad and nice. Finishes that possession with a three ball wide open at the shoulder. That's a possession that came off of her flying dunk. She's when got she the sw swagger on that one. When she <laughs> swatted down the ball, the shot attempt from Cheeto Wolfo. <clears throat> wide open, Garrett and John Praterius able to hit a bucket from the baseline. Makes it a 12 point game, Tennessee 53, Plymouth 41. Dying seconds, Jung hits on with <laughs> .4 seconds left on the Ooh. clock. Thank you, thank you. And the Tennessee Moonshiners will end the first half with all the momentum. It's 55, Tennessee, Plymouth 41. Unbelievable, Annika I, Young. I apologize for my bias a little bit. I'll try to rock, dial it in a little, but I, you know, <laughs> I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you right now, Tennessee is in charge, <clears throat> doing a fantastic job. I think that uh, what I'm seeing right now, Aragon Fisher just owning that point just guard spot. Just lighting it up. Amazing <laughs> job. Defense from Tennessee, fantastic. We've seen some huge blocks. Ten, uh, the Plymouth Tappers not able to get their shots off. Annika Young opening it up in the last minutes of the second quarter.